Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to England Exchange, where we're going to do Brendan's special ending route for the male MC. And I don't exactly know how this is going to happen. <laughs> uh, to say he's aggro towards us would be an understatement. And I think the only really two choices you have that influence him in any way is whether you go and sit with him and Aussie at the beach and when we confront him about the thieving thing and we choose whether or not to try to punch him in the face. And I emphasize try because we fall down and completely with it. So it doesn't seem like a very strong start to a relationship. So I'm not quite sure what to expect with this, but We'll operate on that theory of ignoring everybody and picking to sit with him and Aussie and not try to punch him in the face and see what happens. But we'll refresh our memories on how much he hates us, first of all, so let's do that. The color scheme left a lot to be desired, but the light was warm and the tables and booths gave it a friendly kind of atmosphere. A bar ran around the back wall, and there was a woman behind it, fiddling with some bottles and preparing drinks. Not just any woman. A blonde whose low-cut top looked a whole lot better on her than my work uniform did on me. She saw me standing in the doorway and beckoned me forward, a bright smile on her face. You must be the new blonde! I'm Ashley! I'm Flynn. Nice to meet you. I guess we'll be working together. So we will! You're from America, right? I've heard you're not 21 yet. Not old enough to serve drinks in your country. Don't worry, I'll show you the ropes. In any case, there's no way you'll be worse than... The front door closed and Ashley fell silent. Another man had just entered, wearing the same uniform that I was. Though he wore it better. What? Who is this guy? What are you doing here? Caught off guard by both his gruff questions and his American accent, I stammered in reply. Uh, I'm Flynn. I'm new here. Nice to meet you. I guess we're comrades. Compatriots. Or something. Just don't get in my way. I want to get in, do the work, and get out. I have no interest in this job or in being American buddies. So don't make my life more difficult than it already is. You won't like what happens if you do. He turned the corner and headed into a back room. So, that was Brendan. Don't mind him, he's not that bad a guy. She gazed after him with a worried look on her face and I balked. Not that bad a guy? Really? Huh. We just broke up, so... Oh. Um, I'm sorry. But that meant she was single, right? Not for you this time around, Flinny. Don't worry about it. It's over now. Anyways, let me show you how we do things here. She took me into the kitchen in the back, showing me the plates and the dish cleaner and where we were supposed to put the orders that we took and so on. In no time, I was completely confused, not least because of all the different names for the foods. What's a gherkin? Um... It's yay long and green. A pickle. But pickle is brown and comes in jars. Why do you call your french fries chips? Because they're chipped off a potato. Why do you call them French? What did the French ever do for chips? She smiled and shook her head, which made her hair and other things sway entertainingly. I'm gonna have to hand you off to Brendan now. and No one's around to serve up the usual as their next drink. She skipped to the front of the bar, and I hesitantly approached Brendan, who was bent over a plate of food. Um... The hell do you want? You're supposed to teach me what to do next. Seriously? He glared at me. Then he glanced at the plate of food, a slab of meat with some type of sauce on it, and smiled. Right. How about you go and get a pint of beer from the front and meet me back here? What kind of beer? Just beer. Go! I ran to the front and grabbed the first dark glass of beer I saw, stopped to wave at Ashley. 
She waved back really cutely, then headed back inside. Brendan was standing with the plate in his hands, a sly smile on his face. Take this out of the table in the far back. Guy's a buddy of mine. And give me that. He took the beer from my hands and began to drink. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to do that while you're working. Are you telling me how to do my job? No! No, of course not. Good. Now, skedaddle! I took the plate out to the back table, where a man with a thick mustache was waiting. Finally! It's been an age! Um... Compliments of Brendan. He says hi. The man gave me a weird look, then took the food. I started to head back into the kitchen when... Ah! I jumped. The man at the table had screamed, and now he was glaring at me. What is this shit? What? what I just delivered the food! What? What's wrong, sir? There are peppers in this sauce! I specifically requested no peppers! I said that I'm allergic to peppers! This is covered in tiny bits of pepper! Ashley turned pale. I am so sorry, sir! I'll call 999 right away! Don't bother! It's not that kind of allergy! In other words, he isn't allergic at all, he just doesn't like pepper. Someone deliberately put extra pepper into this dish! Who did you say did this? Brendan! I'm going to talk to your manager! I'll make sure I get that kid fired if it's the last thing I ever do! He sneered at me, then marched out of the room. The remaining customers stared at us in the ensuing silence. Then... What the hell did he just say? Brendan came out of the back of the kitchen. You told him I did that? Well, well, I thought you said... You little shit. You're dead. No. If I lose my job, you will wish you were dead. I will make sure that the time you spend here will be absolute hell, do you hear me? This won't be the end of things. Brendan dashed out of the room, presumably to catch the man. Or talk to our boss. Ashley laid her hand on my shoulder. Hey, are you okay? I felt weak on my feet, but tried to act as though nothing was wrong. Of course I am. Tough first day, right? <laughs> Ashley laughed quietly. I didn't join in. Anyways, let's just try and finish out this shift. We can worry about everything else later. The rest of the shift went comparatively smoothly. Ashley helped me through my failures, and even though Brendan stayed gone for most of the shift, we weren't too hard-pressed for customers. After a few hours, Brendan came back. He said nothing, just went to the back kitchen and resumed work. I assumed that meant that he wasn't fired. I didn't really have the guts to ask him. Oh, uh, we'll see him some more. Okay, and since we're pursuing a guy, we can call Jinsu. And ask, does Brendan count? He'll be so happy. Well, there's my co-worker Brendan, who's pretty attractive if you like the blonde buff type. Go on. He also hates my guts and would probably drown me in the staff toilets if he got the chance. Whoops. Sorry to disappoint you. Alright, and that's all Jinsu's gonna get out of us for right now. And now we get to skip through a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, it's nothing, Mark. Oh. We should do this since it's Brendan. I ran into Brendan in the hallway. I waved to him, trying to be friendly, but he only looked at me with disgust. So much for that, then. You tried. Alright, and we'll do this. We'll be kind of nice to Mark. Um, we will not go try out for football with you. We will not help you with your petition. <laughs> um, we'll do literature. Oh, come back. <laughs> uh, okay. Flynn, looks like you're serving table five. 
Brendan pointed to the largest table in the bar, filled with ten loud and clearly obnoxious teenagers. Have fun. I glared at him and he laughed. <laughs> what did I ever do to him? Him getting in trouble was his own damn fault. Oh well. Someone had to do it after all. He's making good on his threat. Okay, we will help Angie with the garden. Why not? Oh. Um, okay, this is Ashley's thing. Where we will make her drop some plates. And not share anything with Aussie because she's next. Whoop. All right. Back to Brendan. As I went about my tasks, I noticed Brendan closeted in the office with Oscar, the owner. He seemed to spend a lot of time in there. I wondered why, but then I wondered why Brendan had a job here at all, considering how bad he was at it. Sometime later, I was passing through the supply closet when I heard a crash in the kitchen and went running. Brendan stood over a broken plate, looking absolutely furious. Flynn! How could you do that? I'm going out to tell Oscar about this. What? But... but I didn't! Whatever. I'll fix this up. You... just go do something else. Fuming, I turned on my heel and left the room. Yeah, Brendan and Oscar. I wonder if we'll, uh... hear any more details about that, like we did with Malia. Um, oops. Almost had an accidental Peggy hug. Um, we'll do the beginning of this. Just to really hammer home the point that Brendan doesn't like us. I crept into the dining area following my nose. Somebody had cooked something lovely. I was met by Aussie, Brendan, Ashley, and to my utter surprise, Jiho. Ashley looked up and smiled when I came in. Hello, everyone. Uh... I glanced at the plate loaded with food in the center of the table. Is there room for another? Brendan narrowed his eyes and opened his mouth to respond, but... Of course! The more the merrier! Brendan glared at me, but shut his mouth. The decision had been made. Alright, and then him and Aussie glared at me for the rest of the meal. <laughs> it's basically how the rest of that went. Um, joke around with you... Okay, Valentine's Day, Danny... Ah. Gotta keep taking my finger off the skip button. The skip is so fast in this game. Hey, Flynn. What do you want? My ship's over. I'm about to leave. Someone just vomited up a storm in the men's room. Yeah. And? Brendan pointed to a mop leaning against the wall. Go ahead. It's your job, isn't it? No, it's not. It is now. Huh. He left for the bar out front. That son of a- I charged after him, intending to give him a piece of my mind. Is everything okay, Flynn? Flynn here was just volunteering to take care of the mess in the bathroom. That's so nice of you! Yeah, it is. Uh... Lissai. Okay, we'll let her handle that this time. We might as well do that scene, because we're asking <laughs> we're asking about him, you know, as we would. The pub was slow today, which was a good thing since one of my co-workers was nowhere to be found. Hey Ashley, where's Brendan? Oh! I'm covering for him. She flicked a nervous glance at the empty end of the bar. How can you cover for him while you're doing your own job at the same time? Oh, well, it's not very busy, and he said he had something really important to do. You would help me out if I had to go somewhere, wouldn't you? It's a nice thing to do. I would if you asked me, but not for Brendan. Well, I guess that's why he didn't ask you, then. Can't you see he's taking advantage of her good nature? Oh well, that's really none of my business. Not this time. Um, bye, Aussie. Um, 
So yeah, I'm not gonna go with you, G Hill. I mean, we won't bother Danny. And Brendan's a shallow guy. Let's improve our appearance. Oh. That's actually something we haven't seen before. Uh, what came before that? I was supposed to be creating a new me in the semester abroad, wasn't I? Maybe it was time to put more thought into how I looked. Catch up on the latest London fashions and so on. Not to mention I could really use a haircut. <laughs> nice. I didn't expect miracles, but it wouldn't hurt to pay a little attention to myself for a while. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could use a haircut, couldn't you? Oh. There's our guy in question. I was eating breakfast with Ossie and Brendan when James entered the room. The yard's looking a right mess again today. Grass is a mess. You three, get it tidy. Oh, James was already gone. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it either. They both up and left the dining room. Really? So now I had to be the one to mow the lawn all by myself? What the heck was wrong with those two? Oh. It was backbreaking and exhausting and took me hours to do it right. When I finished, James was just walking up with an egg bagel in his hand. Good. He went inside and it was all I could do not to kick the lawnmower and hurt my foot. In Aussie and Brendan's defense, it's kind of hard to cut the lawn with more than one person, so... I will say that at least. Okay, things are disappearing. We're going to the beach. Ninja Mark will help us. And we should probably do this scene since Brendan's involved and uh... I'm curious if anything is going to happen with this a little bit more, since we're going to be in some kind of relationship of some sort. As I was about to head to my room for the evening, Brendan caught my arm. Flynn, James told me to tell you to fix the cash register. Fix it how? What's wrong with it? How am I supposed to know? It's not my problem. Nothing is ever Brendan's problem, not when he can offload it on me instead. Frustrated, I dashed to the register by the check-in and opened the drawer. What exactly was wrong with it? But as I looked, I saw the problem. Something was jammed inside the drawer, stopping it from closing all the way. I worked at it for a little while, taking out bits and pieces and rearranging the drawers on the inside. Finally, I set it all back in and shut the drawer. Trust James to think of some stupid bit of maintenance that needed doing at the very last minute. And trust him to make us do it instead of him. Shaking my head, I climbed the stairs to my room. Yeah, we should have caught on to that sooner. Alright. And here's an actual t choice that might affect Brendan, so let's get to it. For some reason, I thought it was a good idea to spend extra time with Ossie and Brendan, so I plopped down next to them. Hello. What the hell do you want? No, no, Brendan. Don't be so mean to the guy. I know you don't like the competition, but surely you can put up with him for one night, right? Your little feud can wait until you get back to the hostel. Brendan and Ossie traded looks and he sighed. Oh. Fine. What were you two talking about? You know, same thing as ever. The general stupidity of everybody around us. We were talking about how weird it was that everybody got into pairs so quickly. You came late, so you were the odd one out, but look. Peggy and Danny make sense. She's had eyes for him forever. Mark and Ashley too. She's pretty much the only one of us who is nice enough to tolerate him. But Angelo and Jiho make no sense. Every time they get together, they start bickering. Oh, Aussie. So innocent. So cute. The course of true love never did run smooth. I stared at them. Are you suggesting all of these people are somehow interested in each other? Well... 
I'm not not suggesting it. I glance at the pairs gathered on the beach. Crush or otherwise, the longer I looked, the more each pair made sense. Alright. Okay, well, Brendan's calling us in, so we can... We can do that part, at least. <sighs> and then whatever he says to us afterwards as well. I was sitting in the living room, stretching across the couch, trying to get the kinks out of my back, when... Flynn, I think James is looking for you in the kitchen. Brendan stood in the doorway, a slight smirk on his face. A sense of unease crawled down my back. I nodded and crossed over, wondering what exactly was going on. Nothing good. Okay. I think it's somewhere around here. Yep. Hey! My timing was pretty good for that one. Here I thought I was the troublemaker and I was completely wrong. But you can pack your stuff and shove right off. Nobody wants a thief in the house. But... But I swear I'm innocent! <laughs> no, just... Just no. Things are going great, guys. Really. Okay, Brendan. Alright, let's do this. This is the only other choice I can think of that will affect stuff. None of this would be happening if James hadn't sent me to fix the register drawer. And then it hit me. James didn't send me. Brendan told me that James wanted me to do it. Could it be that I was set up? Brendan certainly didn't seem too surprised by my being a thief. I needed to have a little talk with him. I finally managed to track him down while he was making a sandwich in the kitchen. When he saw me enter, he grinned. Well, if it isn't our neighborhood betrayer. You seemed so friendly at first. I know you're the one who did it, Brendan. What? Me? He finished his sandwich and took a bite, talking with his mouth full. Why on earth would I do that? I don't know. That's what I came to ask you. I don't expect you to let me off the hook. I know you hate me for some reason, but why? Brendan chewed thoughtfully. Do you want the real answer? I hesitated. Yes. He shrugged. I just do. I hate people like you. You've never had to work hard for anything, have you? You don't know what it's like to struggle. Your biggest problem in life is probably that you don't know what you want to do with the rest of it. Do you know how lucky that is? Do you know how impossibly fortunate you are to have a problem like that? Everybody likes you immediately. You're on everyone's good side, and you immediately made things difficult for me. Sure, I'm a terrible person because I ruined some guy's meal. I'm sure that's all you ever thought about it. Brendan's a jerk. Probably stupid, too. Not worth my time. Do you know what I had to do for Oscar to keep my job after you ratted me out? You don't know anything about me. You don't know why I do what I do. You just assume I'm worthless. Evil. So I thought, okay, let's be evil. You want me to hate you, I'll give you a reason to believe it. I gave you exactly what you wanted. From where I'm standing, I did nothing wrong. And what are you gonna do now? Wanna hit me? Wanna get mad? Go ahead. It's not gonna change anything. <sighs> Alright. As much as I hate to do this. What he said wasn't true. It wasn't the least bit true. I had struggles. Sure, I'd grown up in a safe, stable, middle-class home, and I'd never had to worry about where my next meal was coming from, and no one really close to me had ever died or gone to prison or anything. Ugh. Was what he said... right? Did I live in too much of a bubble to understand other people? Then... Why did you mess up that guy's food? Brendan grunted, looking away. Hmm. 
None of your business. But trust me, he deserved it. Brendan grabbed his plate and left without another word. Was there more to him than met the eye? Or was I being taken in? I didn't know anymore. If Brendan was responsible for the theft, what could I possibly do about it? I was no detective. I couldn't break into a room to search for clues. What clues would there be anyway? There was only one possibility. And it was a pretty long shot. For now, I needed to get my act together and focus on my finances. So I guess the plan is to romance him then? <laughs> <laughs>